supposed to be riding fence today? Yeah. Forget it. I want you to pull the Mustangs out of Shadow Canyon. All right. Juan Molina will give you a hand. Molina? That's right. Something the matter? Yeah. Well? I don't know why the sheriff was out here last night, Nick. All the men do. Go on. Well, I ain't talking for nobody but myself. Will you get to the point, Hank? The point is, I think you ought to get rid of him. Fire him? Yeah. What for? Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I thought something was funny about Molina right from the start. He stays to himself. He don't talk. He won't go to town. So what does that prove? Maybe nothing, maybe a lot. But if the sheriff thinks maybe he's Joaquin Marietta, that's good enough for me. Well, it's not good enough for me. And no one, you or anyone else, is going to tell me who I can hire and who I can fire. Now you get to work. I'm not going to work with Molina. And I'm not going to live in the same bunkhouse with him. I saw what Marietta did to some men once up in Spanish Flats. He went kill crazy just like that. And... Well, it wasn't very pretty, Nick. And the same thing could happen around here. That is, if he is Marietta. How can you say he ain't? How can anyone say anything different without proof? Now, will you stop all this foolishness, Hank, and get to work? I'm going to get right to the bone of it, Nick. I've been with you a long time. But if that guy Molina stays, I go. Well, looks like I came by just in time to wish you adios. and get out of here. Oh, and if you bump into anyone else that feels the same way you do, you tell them to come by the house. I got their pay waiting for them, too. You're not going to ride Ladino this morning, senorita? No, I have some errands to do in town. I'd like you to drive me. Would you get the buggy, please? Bien. Senorita, perhaps it would be better if one of the other men would drive it to town. I asked you. But there is so much talk. I know all about the talk. Hank Mitchell has spread most of it out of spite because Nick fired him. But people believe it. Well, then they're fools. You're not afraid of me, senorita? Do I have any reason to be? <laughs> no. Then will you get the buggy, please? Muy bien. You going to town? Yes, I've asked Juan to drive me. Oh? Yes, I want to show the people in town that we don't believe the suspicion about him. Oh, it is all right, isn't it? You bet it's all right. Good morning, Victoria. Sarah. Audra. Good morning. Miss Santos, this is Mrs. Barkley and her daughter, Audra. This is Elena Santos, the lady that Benito Flores sent the telegram to. She just got in on the stage from San Andres. What brings you to Stockton, Miss Santos? The sheriff. I sent her a letter, asked her to come over and take a look at that vaquero of yours. I trust that's all right with you? As a matter of fact, it is not all right with me, Sheriff. However, I can't speak for one. Audra, would you get him, please? I'm here, senora. This is the man? Miss Santos? It has been a long time. Fifteen years. Then I saw Joaquin only once or twice. I don't know. He could be. No, this man is not Joaquin. Are you sure? Yes. Look at him again. I do not need to look at him again. I am sure he is not Murieta. A second ago, you weren't quite so sure. But I am now. Juan, would you get the buggy, please? 
Sheriff, perhaps if you cut off my head and put it in a jar, the senorita will give you the answer you want. I'm not through with this. I get the bottom of it. Are you sure there is a bottom to it, Sheriff? I'll find that out, too. Victoria, take my advice and get rid of that. Bye. Mother, Juan isn't Marietta, I know that. But I had a feeling that woman was lying. So did I, Otto. So did I. Mustangs need breaking. Think maybe we can get to it tomorrow? Si, senor. Here you had another visit from the sheriff yesterday. He brought a woman called Elena Santos. Yeah, I know. Audra told me all about it. We'll be going down to Mexico in a few weeks to buy some cattle. Think maybe we can have those broncs ready for the remuda? Seguro, senor. Como no? We'll be trailing the herd back through your hometown. I always like to stop in the Gallus myself to see a friend of mine. The Alcalde, you know. See? Luciano Tejada. Yeah. Fine ranch he has down there. El Rancho Cañada de San Miguel. San Antonio. So now you started wondering about me too, eh, senor? I know. Just checking. May I ask a question, senor? Go ahead. What if you knew that I was Joaquin Murrieta? And what if you knew that? For 15 years, I had been drifting from one place to another, working as a vaquero, and not wanting anything except to live in peace. If you knew that, senor, what would you do? Would you turn me over to the sheriff? But why, senor? Why would it be so important for you to see me hanged after all these years? Because Joaquin Murrieta was a killer. I wonder, senor. I wonder if Joaquin was a gringo, if you would be so anxious to see justice done. Ah, now, wait a minute. Would you? Yes. Now I want to ask you a question straight out, Juan. Are you telling me you're Murrieta? No, senor. But now that you've started wondering about me, you won't stop. Oye, amigo. Dígame. There was a nombre here looking for you. Quien? I never saw him before. He left a note for you on your bunk. Gracias. De nada. not a game. I am looking into your future. What does it say? 
Cards see you riding at the head of a large band of caballeros. They see you and your men raiding the ranches of the gringos, stealing their cattle and their horses. They see you robbing their banks and their stagecoaches and their trains. The cards see Joaquin Murieta alive. The cards are wrong. You are here. I'm Juan Molina. And that names mean nothing to the cards. They know the truth. The people know the truth. Go out to the bar. Look into the eyes of the young hombres. Walk the streets, Joaquin. See how the people stare. They know. El Patrio is alive. Benito said it. And somebody heard him and that made it true. You cannot change that. It is Otto. I don't believe in fate. Put your cards away, senorita. Joaquin is dead. Hasta luego, Joaquin. He will be back. You will ride with him. You and many more. Hold it. We've been waiting for you. He and my friend are going to take you somewhere and learn you some manners. I'll get out from that horse. A brandy? Yeah, oh, you do. Last time we met, you talked pretty good. Yeah, and just in case them stories we've been hearing about you are true. We're going to drop your head off right in front of the sheriff's office. Now, get out! Ah!